Hello everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new tutorial. Today I'm going to be sharing some inspiration with you that features new products from the Simon Says Stamp Crafty Hugs collection. Today we're celebrating this new collection with a blog hop. So if you're interested in participating in today's hop, which features loads of inspiration using this new release, please be sure to stop over at my blog where I have all the details for you plus including more information on today's project. All right, so let's talk about what I'm creating today. The new Crafty Hugs collection features some amazing new products, one of which is the etched dragonflies die set. And this dragonfly die set is beautiful. It allows you to create some very detailed dragonflies, and I'm going to be creating those in a scene featuring some Distress Oxide ink blending, some holographic paper, and just some fun stamping techniques too. So let's start off by creating our background. I have some Strathmore Bristol Smooth paper here, and I'm putting it into my Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station. Using the new Tim Holtz Distress Oxide Speckled Egg color, I'm going to start my ink blending. I started off with speckled egg because I love the muted, moody tone of this blue. It's so gorgeous. I mixed that with a little bit of bundled sage, transitioned that into a little bit of scattered straw, and then the final color in my blending will be abandoned coral. And this abandoned coral looks really bright at first, but once I add some scattered straw, it's really gonna mellow out and blend into a really pr pretty coral color. So our blending is finished and I'm going to add just a little bit of texture to this blending by putting a few water splatters over top. This is going to create some really nice lighter tones to these colors and give some really nice texture and interest to this background. Once I have the splatters added down onto my paper, I'll lift them up with a paper towel and then set this aside to dry. Now here's that holographic paper I was referring to. This gorgeous paper is part of a pack of different styles of holographic paper that Simon Says Stamp has exclusively in their shop. I use this really beautiful linear pattern and I love how this die cuts with the dragonfly. It makes the wings literally look like real dragonfly wings. So I'll show you how I built the dragonfly. It has a body and a set of wings. I cut the wings from the holographic paper and the body is cut from black cardstock. I'll add a little bit of glue to the center area of each set of wings and then I'll glue those to the back side of my dragonfly's body. Once both pairs of wings are attached and everything has dried, I'll use my fingers to slightly curl the dragonfly wings around the body a little bit so it gives them a little bit of lift and dimension. Next, we need to work on creating our scene. I'm using the Wildflower stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. This is a previously released set, but one of my favorites. I'm going to stamp this onto my background panel that I had done all of that ink blending with, and I'm going to show you how you can create this really cool gradation effect with your stamping. Using some Seedless Preserves Distress Oxide ink, I stamped an impression of that Wildflower pattern onto my panel. I'll clean the stamp off, and this time I'm going to apply some black soot Distress Oxide ink. I haven't moved the paper, I haven't moved the stamp, everything is in the exact same place. I'm basically gonna re-stamp over top of the original stamping. Using an ink blending tool, I'll fade out some of that ink that I added down along the bottom portion of my stamp, and I'll press this down. Now this sounds crazy, and, and honestly, this is a very stark impression right now. But two things to note. One, this is going to dry back a little bit, and two, we're going to go back over top of this one more time with another layer of Seedless Preserves ink, and that is going to help blend these two stamped colors together. So one more time, I've stamped this wildflower mix, and here you go, you've got this now stunning dark purple effect. And here you can see it's dried back quite a bit from its original stamping, and I love that effect. I'm using the new Greetings Mix 2 stamp set to stamp this Sending Love sentiment and I'm going to start arranging my dragonflies onto the scene. I used tiny bits of foam tape onto the body of each of the dragonflies to attach them down onto my card. Then I pulled out some moonshine sequins from Simon Sis Stamp and I'm going to glue these down onto my project as well. The final finishing touch was to mount this onto a card base made from white cardstock and we have this beautiful dragonfly scene finished up featuring new products from the Crafty Hugs collection from Simon Says Stamp. 
I hope that you're inspired by today's video to not only try out one of the techniques that I used in today's video, whether it's doing some fun ink blending, I love this color combination by the way, or maybe you'd wanna try that stamping technique where I feathered in that dark black color over top of the purple stamping to create this really beautiful shaded effect. I hope that today's video has been helpful, that you're inspired, and that you'll stop by my blog to get all the details on the Crafty Hugs release blog hop. Thanks for tuning in today. I'll be back again very soon with more to share. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.